Hi, we're back with uh, Seamus Joy a minute. We're going to have to do this in two clips, this particular video. So um, we've got to, um, what was the bit we got to, Seamus? We got to the part of St George's story, yeah. where he was assisting the Christian community in Glastonbury. This had fallen out with the Christian yeah. community in yeah. Wales. Yeah. And uh, so him and his friends joined the battle and Glastonbury won. Right, wow. And uh, everybody was very pleased. But when he came back from the battle, he had a slight wound and the blood had run down the shield that way mm. and had run down the shield that way mm. and that's how we came to have St George's Cross as the symbol of Brit uh, England oh, wow. Wow. and it, it, he got, so he got it in Glastonbury, yeah. it was the medieval story Yeah, yeah. Um, and then supposedly he went to Egypt and rescued mm. a princess called Sabra Oh, right. and probably died in the Diocletian persecutions okay. which was the last persecution of Christians mm. before the Roman Empire adopted Christianity. Yeah. So yeah. no mention of the dragon in Glastonbury, it was yeah. a, a, a Lebanese dragon I think. Right. Okay. Um, but um, oh, we'll go with some of your dragons you've yeah, started so to make. This sort of dragon yeah. is called a herbert. A herbert. Herbert. Now yeah. it's a plant container. Right. Yeah. Well, at the moment it's, it's, just, being it's just being made. Yeah. But the, it gets a rubberized skin on it. Okay. And, and it's weatherproof. And yeah. And it holds herbs from top to bottom. Oh, amazing. And has a, a, a sponge in the tail that yeah, touches the ground. Lovely. So it draws yeah. moisture up and can be placed around a pool. Yeah, that's going to look lovely. And yeah. these are going to be the wings, aren't they? These will be the wings. Yeah. And but will this mouth be open in this one or will it be just... Uh, the, the the one probably be. be a mobile tongue. Yeah. And I may incorporate LED lights that are mm. activated when someone comes near it. Yeah, well, that'd be so lovely. So it might, might slightly alarm a burglar, possibly. Yeah, well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so, so these Herbert are, these are the Herberts keep, that he? I'm making. <laughs> I love and, the name, uh, Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> and at one time I was making dragons that were merely sculptures that just moved about a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But, now but I, I yearned more and more to make one that was completely yeah. lifelike. So would you say when you're... When you're actually um, making a dragon, you're sort of not in charge of it. It's some, coming from some energy that's not yours, is it? Your yes, I, I think all artistic processes yeah. like that, yeah. really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In poetry, the bards yeah. call it the Arwen. Yeah. And in uh, flamenco music, I think it's called Doende. Right, okay. And it's the same thing in gospel music, yeah. where they, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's beyond yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. So we've got another one. Yeah, so we? this we'll is. Just, we'll just go over here. So um, uh, it was quite a. Well, there's a lot of propositions. So here, there's two, two dragons. This, this, this one is the uh, the walking legs that I'm. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, like the other one, yeah. And this one is where I've been working out the. The wing, the wing arrangement. Okay. <coughs> to to see them like this, and then to see, to see the, to see the finished results is amazing. Because to see what it, it starts from, it's just so incredible. That it's in the research that's needing to be done. Yeah. To produce something very simple. Yeah. Yeah. At the end product will be simple. And you're recycling all these goods as well, aren't you? Which is amazing. Which oh, is yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Um, so, there you go. Yeah, and then that, that will be like the dragons in the um, Wish You Were Here cap at the end. Um, approximately the, the heads I with, can see, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, how he does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's all a bit of trial and error as well. Yeah. yeah. So you see, I'm at a complex yeah, stage. It at is the a moment, complex one, but, uh, and you've got a chart over here, haven't you? Some sort of chart that you. Well, would... this is uh, was the starting point, the conception, just to keep me approximately in the direction. Yeah. That I'm working and yeah. the proportions. Yeah. So it just came to you to do. Yeah. But it's lovely. <laughs> Thank you for showing that to me. My pleasure. And um, you also play this. I do, yeah. um, just, uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, you could play a little tune to... on that for... Oh, I'd be happy to play oh, a lovely. little tune. Thank 
you. So this is Seamus Joy playing his, <laughs> what do you call it? It's a harp, isn't it? Is it it's a, it's a, the type of harp is called a classach. A classach. I would call it a minstrel harp myself. But its proper name is a classach. Okay, classach. Seamus, so that's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Takes me right back to the times of the dragons, the medieval ladies. It's beautiful. It's just lovely. And this is a real person in Glastonbury who's been here 30 years and doing some amazing work with dragons and making dragons. And as you can see, as I said, I'll put a link from um, Carol who was doing poetry, took where it's got the finished result of the dragon. Can you pass that there, Seamus? Yeah. Just a, if you want to get hold of Seamus. That's his contact details. And he's an amazing creative person who lives in Glastonbury and I've got the um, pleasure to be here with him today. So in his lovely garden, thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, Danielle Silver, Medium. Bye.